Hey cuties! So today I'm back with a story time. You guys always want to know story times and I'm literally the most boring person. I sit at home. Like what am I supposed to do? Oh, I was playing Call of Duty. Story time, I put my cat in a fake Chanel sweater. <laughs> There was kind of a funny one recently. When I do story times, it's from my past, and I'm like, oh my god, I remember this, I have to share it. But you guys want more recent ones, so I am waiting until there's a good one. My boyfriend said, you need to tell this story, it's hilarious. I didn't find it funny, but I'm gonna tell it. It's probably gonna be short, because my mom's coming here right away, and she's gonna like be like, ah, you weren't ready to go? Like, she always like yells, she comes to my house, she doesn't even knock, she's like, you're not ready to go? Even if I'm like at the door, I'm like, yeah, hi, <laughs> okay. Off a tangent, honey. So we were in Edmonton a few weeks ago, you guys all know this, and we were going over supper to Olive Garden. It was the first night we were there. Could be the second night. Anyway, uh, it was the first night. I was traveling all day, throwing some lip color, and you know, try to look a little cute. I got a really cute dress. I'm gonna show you guys pictures here. It was a dress from like Stitches or something like way back in the day, and I wore these cute heels. Now, there is a lot of walking to get to our car and it was like ice, like everything was ice. Everyone was like slipping and sliding. Canada, shout out. Ugh. So I said, I'm gonna be ratchet, like, hi. And I'm gonna wear my Ugg boots, which are literally trashed. Like they are tore up, they're, they're not cute at all. They're like, you guys are looking at them right here. So anyway, I was like, I'm just gonna throw those on and then put my heels on when we get in the car so that I don't have to wear my heels all the way. Cause there was like tons of stairs, there was like a, a ramp. You had to walk down. I would, I would literally just got a toboggan and like slid all the way down. And I didn't bring a jacket because that's me. I didn't bring a jacket. I just bought like dresses and tank tops. So my boyfriend's like, you can use my sweater. It's like oversized. It's like XXL. It's DC sweater. Like he wore, wore it all day driving. I didn't care. But it was like down to like my knees. And then these Ugg boots come like... Here's my knees, these Ugg boots come like to here. So it literally looks like I am wearing nothing and I'm just like a ratchet. Like this, cool. And I didn't know this, but when I put on lipstick, as I was putting on the coat, I like went like this, you know when you're putting on a coat and the lipstick went on my face a little bit. I didn't know that, I didn't know that. And my boyfriend doesn't tell me when these things happen. Child. So there's an elevator, okay? We go into the elevator, I'm in my Ugg boots. I literally have a plastic, value village bag with my high heels in it so nobody knows what it is and then my purse and then this red oversized sweater my hair is kind of frizzy i have lipstick on my face and ugg boots that are tore up and i'm like yeah you're going out for supper i actually look cute underneath all that you know with my heels on and everything but then i was like like in the in the elevator my boyfriend's like you look so good because like, he's so sweet i love him and we're at the very top floor of this hotel room and we need to go to the bottom floor, right? So it's like cute, like we're at the very top. So we start going and like there was floor like six, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. And we stop at it and it opens up and there was a um, gentleman standing there, maybe like 30s, 40s. And he had two kids with him and a stroller. And you know like it opens for like a certain amount of time then it's just gonna close and go down like if nobody's like getting on, like you snooze, you lose type deal. So he opened it and then like he kind of just was like looking at me. I felt like this was like five whole minutes at a time, but it was honestly like 20 seconds interval. <laughs> okay, okay. The door opens. I see the gentleman. I smile, like always. I smile at everyone. I don't care when you look like, even if you're a shoe, like even at a shoe place. I'm like, I'm smiling at the shoes because that's how I am. I'm a psycho. So my boyfriend's just like, whatever, like. And this guy's staring at me. And he looks at my boots, looks at what I'm wearing, sees, I'm, I'm honestly, I don't want to say what he's thinking, but he's thinking this girl's not wearing anything under. They just had sex. She's a prostitute. I'm not letting my kids on this air airplane, this elevator. That's literally his thought process. I don't even care. Like, get him on here, interview him. That's his thought process. I don't think anything of it because I don't, I don't, I, I just like thinking like, oh, there's a guy getting on an elevator with kids. Kids, I better move over to the side, right? Like, that's all I'm thinking. And he has like a whole story novel in his head. And he goes, I'm not joking. He looks at his kids. He kind of like, Goes like this to it, like hugs his child close, grabs his stroll, and he's like, um, uh, uh, my daughter hit the wrong button. We're going up and set it down. Sorry. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then the doors close and my boyfriend starts bursting out laughing. And I'm like, what? What's funny? Do you know him? <laughs> and he said, no, he probably thinks you're a hooker. And I said, why? And I was like, offended. Like, here's my Michael Korn thing. Like, <laughs> Ew, Samantha, you're gross. I was like, why? Like, putting Michael Kors back in front of my face. <laughs> ew, ew. By the way, there's nobody else in the elevator. It's just me and my boyfriend, which he knows I'm a psycho. And he's like, because 
you're dressed like you look like you're wearing nothing you have the most ratchet boots on you have lipstick on your face i'm like i have lipstick on my face and the whole elevator is mirrored so i turn around i'm like oh my god i literally look like a ratchet mess like a mess and this like dc jacket like who's wearing that and i'm like cool like that's awesome and i'm like hey no he doesn't he probably is going up a floor right like that's cool we get down to the lobby and we were walking out and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put on my heels now. I'm just gonna grin and bear it and put on my heels because my boyfriend's like, this guy thinks you're a prostitute. So I was like, I care what people think of me now. Like I think Sparkle's the fake 2K17. I care what people think of me. So I'm putting on these heels and sliding down this ramp. I'm sorry that I'm getting like so worked up about this, but girl, I don't even know. Like this, it's a day today, okay? I was up at like 6 a.m. going to the gym now I'm gonna go shopping with my mom. I'm probably gonna get Starbucks. Like, I'm hyped. So, I am literally in the lobby, bent over, like this. Okay, well, not like that. But I'm like bent over, like taking my Ugg boots off. Mind you, I'm in a dress, okay? And it's not a, like a tiny dress, but when you're bent over like this, you can see I'm putting on my heels like this. And when I get up, because I'm gonna do the other one, so I get up, the guy is there going out to his car with his kids the 30 year old with his kids and my boyfriend went <clears throat> that's really literally what he did he turned like to like not laugh at somebody because he's not an asshole but he wasn't laughing at him he was kind of laughing at the situation and me so he looks back and goes <clears throat> and then i was like what when i looked at him he literally saw my whole dress i'm so glad i was wearing underwear your girl doesn't wear underwear that often not gonna lie. i was wearing underwear this day and this guy now sees me bent over and my cooch there, probably half hanging out, <laughs> kind of hurries and scuffles away out the door, like hurries. And I'm like, whatever, like to Dalton. He goes, and my boyfriend said after the guy left with his children in the stroller and they're all bundled up and stuff and walking out into the icy mess. My boyfriend says to me, you realize that what he was saying in the elevator was a lie. He was going down as well. He was literally thinking that you are 100% were a prostitute. And I'm like, you're so right because this guy said my my daughter pressed the wrong button we're going he was going down he was going down the whole time so he literally just didn't want to come into the elevator with a hooker with his children he didn't want to expose his children to the horribleness of me so i just went cool and the guy left and went to his car so he was going down the elevator the whole time he lied because he thought it was a prostitute that's my story time is it a good story time i don't even know but that happened to me and i feel like shit. i'm going to olive garden like <laughs> Nobody takes a prostitute to Olive Garden. I am winning here. And Dalton was trying to make me feel better by saying, well, he would pay, see my mom's laughing down there. She didn't come in and say, ah. Oh, I thought she just did. Anyway, my boyfriend's trying to make me feel better by like, oh, he probably just realized he couldn't afford you. You were a really high end prostitute. I'm like, please, can we just like stop? That's my story. And I like telling it to you and I love it. So if you guys like these story times, even if they're like stupid, or whatever, give it a thumbs up if you like it. I know like my life's not really that exciting, but if there is something to tell, then I'll tell you guys. I love you so much. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!